This construction site is situated in Chisenyi 2 Parish, Mbiro Zone, within the city of Kampala. Recently, a concerned businessman, Festo Kasaija, raised alarm over the construction taking place in Chisenyi 2 Parish and urgently called upon KCCA to intervene in the situation involving the family of the late Haj Katimbo, who were allegedly engaging in disruptive activities. <laughs> The Minister for Kampala, Hajat Misa Kabanda, issued a letter wherein she requested KCCA to intervene and put a stop to the unlawful construction encroaching on KCCA's road network. The document points out that the local residents are adversely affected as the road they traditionally used has been obstructed by this construction. Festo Kasaija, a complainant, highlighted the shortcomings in the city planning that have led to issues such as collapsed buildings and floods. Kasaija urged KCCA to take decisive action against individuals who disregard the city's master plan and regulations. <laughs> The KCC spokesperson Simon Kasiate revealed that the family of Haj Katimbo has been cautioned on multiple occasions to cease their construction in the road. At times, they have obstructed KCCA officials from inspecting the site where the unauthorized construction is taking place. For the most part, we will try within what's humanly possible to enforce, and we know for a fact that the law is on our hands, and without a fear of contradiction, this developer will certainly be brought to account. But in the situation, our appeal has always been, we don't want to resort to forceful enforcement as a first resort. That usually comes as a last resort. Kasiate warned that repeated violations of the city's planning regulations may compel the agency to employ stronger measures to prevent infringements upon the city's master plan. Many times we appeal to people to be self-respecting, uh, to introspect and try to do the right thing. Cases here without a doubt will always find an opportune time to bite and when we do, the consequences are sometimes detrimental. Story compiled by Jamil Sekaja for UBC News.